All right, here comes another retro review coming right up. How's it going, fellas and the files? This is Dominic from Film Overload, the channel where we talk about movies, pop culture, and everything in between. Today, I'm doing another retro review, and today I am reviewing the movie Rio. Bravo. This came out in 1959, directed by Howard Hawks, and stars John Wayne, Dean Martin, Ricky Nelson, Ward Bond, and many, many more. Now, this was my first experience with this movie, but not my first experience with director Howard Hawks. I am very familiar with some of his best works, including Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, His Girl Friday, Bringing Up Baby, and the list goes on. I'm also very familiar with John Wayne, but I have not seen too many John Wayne films, so I wanted to cross this one off my list, and I really was not disappointed. Now, the main story behind this movie is John Wayne's character, who is a local sheriff in a small town. He jails a very wanted outlaw, and when the outlaw's brother comes into town to try and retrieve his brother, things go crazy. And through Howard Hawks' direction, you really get this sense of a very character-driven drama. Um, Howard Hawks, he really cares about his characters. And Rio Bravo is another prime example. Characters are what really drive this movie. And I'll get to that in a little bit. But this movie, through the eyes of the various characters, was a really fun treat to watch. Now, the writing for this movie, for the most part, was actually really solid. A really nice flow and a really nice balance of story and character, which is very typical from this era in Hollywood because they really cared what they were writing about. And again, just Rio Bravo is another prime example of really solid writing. And once again, Howard Hawks, through his characters, through the writing, really conveys a really engaging Western from start to finish. Like I mentioned before, the characters are what really, really drive this movie home. So let's start with John Wayne, who, once again, like Humphrey Bogart in my previous movie, is John Wayne. He's always going to deliver. He never disappoints. And in this movie, he does not disappoint. He plays a fantastic lead character as he always does. He had an amazing screen presence and a swagger that not a lot of actors have nowadays. And through his character and his experiences, you really get the sense of what the film is all about. And through John Wayne's performance, this movie really would not be as special as it was without the presence of John Wayne. However, besides John Wayne, the supporting cast in this movie was really outstanding. Ward Bond is great in this. I thought Ricky Nelson was really solid in this as well. And the rest of the cast, but the one side character that really stood out to me was Dude, played by Dean Martin. Dean Martin, in my opinion, actually steals the show in this movie. Um, Dean Martin's character is fantastic. You understand him. You know where he's coming from. You know, the town's drunk who just, you know, just has had it really, really, really rough. And Dean plays this to perfection. I have no idea if he got nominated for this, but if he didn't, he should have because he really steals the show in this movie. And along with the rest of the supporting cast helping John Wayne, it really, really worked wonderfully, in my honest opinion. So the supporting cast in this movie played a huge part in making this movie special as well. The one major gripe I have with this movie was its pacing. This movie takes its sweet time trying to tell everything that it is trying to tell. And you really feel this film's duration, roughly right around the hour and 20 minute marker. The movie just moves very slowly. In fact, I did not expect it to move this slow, which kind of hindered my full enjoyment of this film. Maybe if it was paced just a little bit better, I would have enjoyed it more. But the pacing really kind of took away some points off the final score for this movie, which is really unfortunate because I thought that the movie itself was incredibly engaging. But overall, I thought Rio Bravo was a really, really solid film. Another really solid film from John Wayne and another really solid film from Howard 
Hawks. I really enjoyed this Western a lot. The atmosphere is really great. The characters are great. The story is great. The writing is great. The direction is great. However, it just moves really, really, really slow for my personal taste, which docked it a couple of points in my final score. If you liked what you see here, be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well, guys, and turn on the post notifications so that you guys can get notified every single time I post a video. You can follow me on Letterboxd, which is right here. I post all my movie reviews on Letterboxd as it helps me keep track of movies that I have watched, movies that I haven't watched, and movies that I will watch. And I think you guys would benefit greatly from this app and this website if you're indeed lovers of cinema like myself. As always, guys. Happy movie watching. Take care.